All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And I just saw this on the feed. And, um, you know, Esau's calling this hurricane, you know, that's supposed to hit Texas. They're saying that it's unsurvivable, you know? And the thing is, how would they know? They're not the most high, all right? It haven't even hit yet. And they're saying that this thing is unsurvivable. Uh, it's unsurvivable. You know, they're telling people to evacuate and things are like that. You know, so I just wanted to put a heads up. And um, I'll play a little bit. What they're saying right now is that uh, they're hurricane is going to be quite severe this has been categorized repeatedly as an unsurvivable unsurvivable storm surge where it will be hitting uh, and that storm surge could continue inland for about 30 miles and this storm wind is going to be the biggest threat uh, tropical storm winds are, are likely uh, to occur as far north as longview Storm surge is also a big problem with 10 to 15 feet storm surge around the Jefferson County area. Uh, we should expect some flash floods in various regions where the storm will be going through. And those uh, flash floods could spill into rivers and the rivers could overflow. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen Cat 3, Cat 4 winds in Texas. We know the damage that that does. Power restoration, Governor, will be longer and what we would normally expect because of the high winds. Uh, you said yesterday that this is not a Harvey storm. We completely agree with that. The rainfall will be different, but the winds will be very important for us to watch. Even though more people lose their lives during surge or flood events, in this event, I'm really worried about the wind just as you are. Our rescue personnel are available. They will be hunkered down through the hours of the storm. I know that they will risk their lives to get out there. My urge and, and plea with Texans is if you have the chance to evacuate now, please do so. All right. You know, and as he was speaking, I was thinking, could this be another one of their agendas to lock down and regulate, you know, not, let not a crisis go to waste? You know, how would they know that this is an unsurvivable hurricane, you know? So, you know, I just want to say that I'm just reporting, putting it out there, brothers. I'm pretty sure brothers seen it, you know, and I know you brothers down there in Texas probably know what's going on even more. You know, but this is, you know, a little report from Jersey that I've seen on the feed. And uh, this is Psalms 34 and 15. All right, because we don't fear these things because we have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now, this is Psalms 34 and 15. The eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears are, are open unto their cry. You see? So the Lord is not dealing with everyone who call upon him. Okay? And especially if they're not even calling upon his true name. All right. So the Lord is dealing with those that he see as righteous. And it says his ears are open unto their cry. It says the face of Yahweh is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. And eventually that's going to be Edom. You know, you can never trust these devils so as as as, as the scriptures say as iron russif never trust of our enemy you know like as iron russif so if his wickedness you know because is this just another move for them to take advantage of this cri uh, so-called crisis you know is this their plan to regulate texas you know because they have a hard time you know dealing with texas because of the patriotism all right, so the face of Yahweh is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. And eventually, as is written in Job, Esau is going to be chased out of the world. You know, Job even said that this will be like a dream. All right, verse 17, the righteous cry and Yahweh heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. All right, who's bringing this hurricane to life? It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
okay? He's bringing the trouble. So it says the righteous cry and Yahweh heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. It says, Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. And that's truly us brothers here. All right, and I gotta say Great Millstone and the men on down, you know, outside of Great Millstone who teaching and following, you know, the 100% truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, who's sincere and uh, who believes, all right, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but Yahweh delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. All right. So, you know, that's it. I wanted to make a quick report. As I just seen this on the news and a couple of other news sites talking about it. There's various different stations of mainstream media and they all repeatedly keep saying unsurvivable. You know, this is an unsurvivable uh, surge, uh, hurricane or whatever the case is, that's going to destroy Texas. You know, so heads up. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the Lord's elect. Shalom.